Well, you know, as a ski flake, I get to go to a lot of really amazing places, and uh, one of my favorite, bar none, is Icefall Lodge in British Columbia. Already famous for its world-class terrain, relentless powder storms, and plush backcountry accommodations, British Columbia welcomes a new member to the family, Icefall Lodge. Born in 2006, it boasts the largest area, highest peaks, and longest runs of any backcountry lodge in British Columbia. We have entered the land of giants, a place that overwhelms even our wildest imaginations. Our journey to Icefall has led us deep into the heart of the Canadian Rockies, and then a bit beyond. With the combined expertise of three world-renowned photographers and an assortment of skiers hailing from Jackson Hole to Sandpoint, Idaho, our mission? To capture the essence of Icefall Lodge. This place is remote and beautiful, and I don't think you could take a bad photo. I mean, you could, but you don't want to. <laughs> I think I got the shot the first day that I was looking for, which was, you know, a winter wonderland, a uh, vast landscape with um, little bodies within the landscape. Icefall seems to have just the perfect combination of expert terrain and moderate terrain. A lot of places you go, uh, there's a lot of moderate terrain, but you don't have the just endless steep couars and, and uh, big faces. And, but Icefall, it is perfect for the moderate skier, it's perfect for the expert skier. We've been blessed with over four feet of new snow this week and digging a pit to assess avalanche danger is the specialty of all Canadian mountain guides. Out here, safety is in our own hands. The guide's experience and training is priceless. As we um, made our descent, the sun uh, came out, clouds parted, and probably got the best shots of the whole trip within that half hour. As soon as the sun came out and that we can see the valley, it we all just stopped in our tracks and just had to just take it in and take photos really quick. <laughs> When photo geeks share space, it's like entering a Circuit City yard sale. A digital explosion of external hard drives, laptops, strobes, batteries, and more batteries. Major megabytes. Here's a helicopter shot. I kept mentioning uh, time and time again when we were out there in the snow shooting, I was like going, wow, this is like the peanut gallery. I mean, in one, in one sense, it was like shooting the sidelines in an NFL football game. But we're all friends. We, we just didn't get into each other's way. Well, you know, photographers, yeah, kind of like herding cats. 
<laughs> one wants to go this way, one wants to go the other way. You know, they're all. Uh, it, it was fun, but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, not the quickest coming to a consensus as to what everybody wants to do. But uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. is my first backcountry hut trip, um, so if it's this good everywhere else, <laughs> I'm going to start doing more of it. Ice Fall Lodge is so remote that you don't see anybody else while you're out here. It's only your group. You don't cross any tracks, you don't hear any helis, you don't hear any snowmobiles. You're really out here in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. My favorite run was when we all skinned up to the clit and we skied the groove tube and it's just this gorgeous wide open couloir and it was my first day tullying in a few weeks and the powder was deep and it was face shots the entire way down. People on the trip and the camaraderie and all the things that we shared in the backcountry, um, you won't get that anywhere else. And that are the, the moments that you want to capture the people enjoying themselves and reacting to the beauty and the surrounding. I love that feeling of just being able to go out and shoot with your friends and be creative. Don't you have like a card I can read off? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I like my job. It's got some great fringe benefits. <laughs>